Sisti Moss over UIU of United International University. This is our first ever opportunity we are participating in the upcoming UK Rover Challenge. We have built the prototype of next generation Mars Rover that will one day work as assistive rover for a manned mission to Mars. based on a modified rocker buggy design that gives us the advantage for avoiding jerks on rough terrain and also auto suspension. Our chassis is made up of mild steel. Wheels are made approaching a very popular method that is terra mechanics. The wheels have multiple layers of PVC and fiber inside it to reduce the weight. We have managed the weight distribution by weighing each wheel as 3 kgs and the overall weight of our rover will be around 30 kgs as instructed. system is a single portable package contained in an acrylic box with smart cooling system. For the main processor unit, uh, power distribution and management, and safety of the equipment, we have customized a PCB based on plug-and-play method which also enables ease of debugging. The power banks are separate from each other, so power failure of one segment does not have an impact on the other ones. The communication process has been set up using a 2.4 GHz outdoor Wi-Fi with an ATP antenna router in the rubber and the same kind of Wi-Fi with a 24 dB grid parabolic antenna in the control station. To handle router malfunction, we are using NRF2 as backup. The rover software is our own unique creation. Each part of the software works independently. The software is designed in two parts, control side as a client and rover side as a server. For the science test, we are performing some chemical tests like the MPK test, carbonate test, etc. to uh, detect different chemical components of the soil. Besides these, we are using a moisture sensor to determine the moisture amount and a pH sensor to find, it, uh, to find out if the soil is acidic or alkaline. We are also using a thermal sensor and we can compare the collected data, uh, data with data from the internet to decide if the environment is suitable for human survival. We have used one Raspberry Pi 2 for the video server and the other one for the, uh, for the rover control and sensor data analysis. Wireless data transmission is done by implementing a client server application through WebSocket server. If the server disconnects during tasks, it can auto-reconnect within 500 milliseconds. Using the data from the GPS and the gyroscope sensor and offline maps, we can create a 3D graphical view of the terrain. Currently, we are working on the automation of our rover. is defined to have 4 degree of freedom and we are working to update that to a 6 degree of freedom arm. In addition to that, we will be using DC motor instead of servo motors for better ease of operation. The arm as whole can rotate up to 360 degrees for better flexibility.